Welcome back. Today we're going to look at a pilot test. It's a program that was sent to me by a viewer. Now when you install it you get this and when you run it you get this. So first things first let's open it in Ollie and let's reposition Ollie just a little bit and there we go and we know it's trying to open a file. Well what command does that? create file A does that. Let's find references and put breakpoints on them and restart run and here we go we're trying to open C program files, common files, cpt, ptt, start, dot, dot. And if we hit F8 we can get rid of that let's come back here, put a breakpoint here, hit F9 now we can get rid of that and let's see what happens when it doesn't find it because we get an error, error path not found and we come back to here now I'm willing to bet that as soon as I hit F8 we're gonna get our message F8 here's our message so let's put a breakpoint here let's get rid of this breakpoint okay restart okay now if we run it it stops here. Let's hit F7 to go into it and see what's going on. Does it call? Does it compare to zero? Does some popping? Jump if not equal? Let's nope that out. And let's write that to the executable. And restart it. Okay. Now let's run it and hit F8. We didn't get a message. Didn't get a message. We're still doing good until we get to here. Okay, that looks good. We're going to jump past the impossible. Compare. And these are all jumping to the same place. And we can see that if we don't jump, we're going to get start code not correct. So... Let's make it jump on the first one. Okay, it doesn't compare. Jump if equal. Jump if not equal, and that takes us down to here. So let's nope that. Let's copy those to the executable. Alright, so now, let's run it. What do you know? Works just fine. Now we've got all these little test things that apparently pilots do. <laughs> Anyways, let's exit that. And suppose that's not good enough for you. Let's delete this. Redo the setup. And we're going to put it in the same place if I can find it okay now we're back to this so let's run the install accept and it's saying authorization key installation code let's put one two three four five six seven eight nine in there and let's put a b c d e f g h i in there continue installation code not correct okay well, let's open that with Ollie. And see what we get. So let's run it. Make it small enough to see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Continue. Now let's pause. Do Alt F9. Well, that's not going to do anything for us. Control F9 until it runs. There we are. Let's search the stack really quick just to make sure that it's not really easy because sometimes programs won't clear their variables and you'll see the code right there. 
So let's write that down. 163408070. We see it's comparing to our bottom one there. So let's go ahead and click the button here and look at the stack again and it's right there. Now we can clearly see it. Now we're just going off of a hunch that that might be something important. Happens all the time. Let's hit F8 to return and just keep stepping through all this stuff and see what comes up on the stack. Because eventually I bet something else important comes up. So we're just hitting F8 and watching the stack. And eventually we might see something, we might not, or the program will finish. So we'll see where that gets us. We're just going to keep stepping until we get somewhere. Just holding it down now. There we go. It, pro it terminated. Now if we scroll back up and look at everything, see if we see anything useful. So far, nothing. I don't see anything. Wait. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, restart it. And let's put in our... One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And down here, let's put in one, six, three, four, zero, eight, zero, oh, seven, four, zero. Continue. Authorization key is not correct. Well, that's a little bit different, isn't it? Let's do the same thing. And let's look at our stack here. Control F9 until it comes back. Read over everything in here real quick. And then let's hit OK and see what we get when we return. Let's con control F9. It just goes until return. We're just going to keep doing that until we get something like this where we see installing second demo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. Authorization key is not correct. Oh. Well, here's a key, and there's a key. Let's try this one. LBK CDF. Exit. Install. Accept. LVK. LE. VK CDF. And. One six three four one six three four zero eight zero seven four zero. Continue. Registration complete. Now if we run it, what do you know? It works. So there you have it. Uh, we reverse engineered the installation program to actually make the file for us. And we also reverse engineered the actual program itself. Uh, quick and easy, uh, very basic. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, keep submitting and keep watching.